Hi, my name's Cassie, and I'm going to read you a poem today from this book, The Monsterologist, A Memoir in Rhyme, by Bobby Katz. Now, what do you think this word, monsterologist, means? That's right, it's a person who studies monsters. And what about this, memoir? Do you know what a memoir is? Yeah, it's a story written by the person that it's about. So this book is about a person who is a monsterologist and studies monsters and has written poems about it. And the poem I'm going to read you today is about a very famous monster named Grendel. And the poem is called Understanding Grendel. Many centuries ago, long before my birth, a monster, Grendel, roared a roar and stomped across the earth. Now, all I knew about him were stories that I read. Beowulf killed Grendel. For years, they'd both been dead. Grendel is still famous for his dreadful appetite, sneaking snacks of snoozing Danes, noshing every night. Grendel had a mom, they say, who doted on her son. She called him Tootsie Wootsie and Mommy's Honey Bun. Yet I suspect that Grindel was tutored by none other to indulge his crude food cravings by his very monstrous mother. I happened upon evidence that makes me think this way when wandering in Denmark on a hiking holiday. Exploring a dank, mossy cave, what did I see? A moldy piece of parchment with this recipe. Danish pastry. Take half a dozen dozing veins. Split their skulls. Pull out their brains. Tear off arms. Tear off legs. Add flour to well beaten eggs. Fold in veins and you will get a pastry to eat, baked or wet. Optional. Garnish with a limb or two. Or save for super stew. Now that was Grindle and his mother and their monstrous appetite. I hope you liked that poem. And if you did, you can read about all the other monsters in The Monsterologist by Bobby Katz. Thanks for listening.